What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna to show you how to set up basic on-page SEO using the Smart Crawl plugin from WPMU Dev. So we're here, we're in the backside in the admin area in the dashboard of WordPress and we're gonna walk you through how to set up basic on-page SEO and we talked about it in the intro. We're going to use Smart Crawl from WPMU Dev. So we're gonna go into the plugin section here. We're gonna add a new and we're gonna search Smart Crawl. Now this first one that comes up, it's Smart Crawl WordPress SEO Checker, Analyzer, and Optimizer. You wanna make sure it's from WPMU Dev. You can see 50 plus thousand activations, five star review on 87 reviews, last updated four days ago. Now, WPMU Dev is a, a platform, it's a software that I actually, or a company that I support. I have, um, a monthly subscription with those guys, I pay annually. Their pro plugins are phenomenal. I use them on every single WordPress site that we do. Um, but they do have a lot of free options. Smush, Forminator, and Smart Crawl are just a few. They do have Defender as well. But today we're focusing in here on on-page SEO and specifically Smart Crawl. So let's go ahead and do the install and we're going to activate the Smart Crawl plugin. So now that Smart Crawl is active, you're gonna see this option down here. We'll go into the dashboard, and this kind of welcomes you to Smart Crawl. They do a full SEO check. You can go through all these different things. It'll generate your sitemap for you, which is crucial. You can do Open Graph, which supports social networks, and you can create Twitter cards. We'll get started and let Smart Crawl just do its thing. We're going to activate it here and it's gonna run its very first checkup. You can see this is in progress, and you'll see the actual progress that is being made here. Now this is something really cool to keep in mind. If you're transitioning away from Yoast, I know a lot of people use Yoast, but if you wanna use something different, something that is a little bit prettier to look at, it still does an amazing job, Smart Crawl is a great option, but you can also auto import any of the Yoast SEO settings that you had in place, you can import them directly into Smart Crawl, and that will be page titles, keywords, and any of the settings that Yoast had, it will pull those into Smart Crawl. While this finishes up, we're gonna show you just the sitemap that it creates. You know, it's very basic, but you'll be able to see this. You know, this is just a demo site that we set up. It's gonna give you the blog, all the posts, all that, and this is a, a great looking sitemap that it's going to submit or that allow you to submit to, uh, to Google Search Console, which is huge. Um, the, you know, the other parts here is that there are some advanced tools. You can go down here to advanced. There's automatic linking with Pro. You also have redirects that you can manually set up here. So if you needed a site to go, or a page to go from one page to a new page, you could do that here. You can set up whether it's temporary or permanent. That can all be done inside of Smart Crawl, which is really, really simple, super easy. You can go over to Titles and Meta and you can customize how you want these to look. You know, you can set up different things here, use the options they have to build the structure of your titles, at least your defaults, the descriptions for your pages, and a few other options down here for the open graph. And you can do that by page, or by post type, and pretty much customize the way this looks across the board. Same thing with archives, and then there's settings where you can do a few little tweaks to the way the separator actually works. Now that's all fine and good on the setup side of things, but really the key is what does it look like on each individual page? So we'll jump into pages and I'll show you what Smart Crawl looks like on the page itself. So when we go into this blog page, we're gonna hit edit and it's gonna open up Gutenberg and underneath where you would build the content, you see this Smart Crawl section. So it starts reading what you've put in place, pulls in the data, and it's gonna give you a few options. So it's gonna give you the Google preview here. Now we can change all of this by hitting edit meta. So inside of here, you can custom change the title of that page for SEO purposes individually by page. And then you can also change the description here and then you can put in keywords. So there's regular keywords, there's news keywords, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure the difference. I usually double them up. And then you can make tags keywords so any of your page tags or post type tags, you can make those keywords as well. And then there's the SEO analysis 
which is where you will set the actual focus keyword. Um, and that's gonna be for the entire page. As soon as you add this in, it's gonna give you some more scores here. So it's gonna give you an SEO score. And then depending on the layout that you have, it's gonna give you a readability score. You can also go into Open Graph and manually change some of the, the way that things show up on Facebook. You can change the way the Twitter cards are displayed and even the images that go along with them being shared on those social networks individually. And then there's also some advanced features. So you can do the index, the no follow, the archive snippets, and you can change the canonical UR, or the URL for the canonical address. And I, I wish that there was more in-depth process to this whole thing, but as far as on-page SEO, that's really it. It's quick, it's easy. I like Smart Crawl for one big reason, is that some of the pro things that are available in Yoast are available in the free version for Smart Crawl. And on top of that, it loads much, much faster. I found that Yoast is very bloated. Um, it does do a great job, but it also increases the amount of time it takes for each page to load. So when I'm going to edit, it's just more time wasted watching the page load. So I have made the transition on all of our new sites to Smart Crawl, and I'm going back and changing a lot of our old sites to Smart Crawl as well. The sitemap address is the same, the settings can import, so you don't lose anything. Um, you just don't want to run both of them side by side. Make sure you have one only. Um, Smart Crawl is it for us. You know, I, I'd be interested to know what you use and particularly why you've made the choice, either a Smart Crawl, All-in-One, or Yoast. So let us know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up with likes and share this with anybody who you think really may be able to get some value from this particular topic. We appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for continuing to come back and support the channel. We'll see you in the next video.